This is tutorial number 14, and it covers how to manually edit your sketches within Katia V5. To start off, open up a new part file. Once you have it open, let's go into the sketcher. So let's click Sketch and click Any Plane. So what I'm going to show you in this tutorial is how to manually edit your sketches without putting on constraints and dimensioning it. So to start off, let's click on the rectangle and let's draw a rectangle. Now, you're able to put constraints on it, but say you want to just move it over this way, you're not sure how much, all you have to do is click, grab, and just drag it over. You're able to move it up, down, all over the place just by moving it around, such as that. Now let's draw a circle, and we can do the same thing. You're able to click and drag and pull the circle out, move it anywhere you want, you're able to press and hold on the center point and just move the center point around. Now, say you have just a single line and say you need to extend it, just grab one of the points and you're able to pull it out. Grab the other point and you can pull it out the other way. And likewise, you can pull them back in. So you're able to create sketches, draw them on there, grab them and just move them to whichever place you want them to be. Now this is important as when you're adding dimensions, sometimes your sketches are going to be on the wrong side of where you want them to be. So say in this case, this line is below here. Let's try to dimension it so that it's on top of uh, the circle. Now you have a dimension of 46. There's no way you can put it on top of the circle. You can try putting it at negative 10, but it can only take full value numbers, so it has to be a positive number. So the only way to flip it onto the other side would be to click and drag it. Now let's put another dimension in here, and let's put it to 50. Say that's what we wanted. And likewise, you're not able to dimension this line so it goes below that circle there. So by clicking and dragging, you're able to reposition your sketches more where you want them to be so that when you have to go in and dimension them, you can dimension them correctly. And this concludes our tutorial on manually editing your sketches within Katia V5.